This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. Welcome to the podcast. If you'd like to listen to an ad-free version of this episode and all of our episodes, then search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. That's our premium channel where all of our ad-free and advanced episodes live all in one place. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Search it on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. Even try it for three days free. The last thing they saw was someone they trusted. You're tuned in to Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi, featuring retired FBI special agent and chief of the counterintelligence behavioral analysis program, Robin Dreek. Lots of people are asking, how did the victims, allegedly, of Diddy get to the state of not being conscious of what was going on, of being able to be persuaded to go down dark paths with Diddy and his accomplices? Well, one attorney thinks they may have the answer to it, and it's not just spiked drinks. It's spiked baby oil. Joining me to discuss, Robin Dreek, retired FBI special agency for the counterintelligence behavioral analysis uh, program. Uh, my God, <laughs> we have spiked drinks, we have all sorts of things, and now those 1,000 bottles of baby oil, it makes sense why they have them. He's allegedly, according to an attorney that's representing about 120 victims, spiking the oil. Thoughts on this one? Boy, you take money, you take desperation, and you can come up with amazing concoctions. Who would I? I never even heard of that spiking no. baby oil and throwing it on people to drug induce them. I just that's there's a new one every day with him, isn't there? I didn't know that was even a thing. The allegations yeah, are that possible. it might have been a drug like GHB or something like that. Um, I, I don't know much about these drugs other than I know, like, if you consume them, but normally it's consumed, like, orally, right. um, um, that it can have its effects. But um, through the skin, I mean, that, I mean, there's topicals and things like that. I guess one would have to assume, you know, you were exposed to it that way. It can also have those sort of effects. I always got a different take on some things. The first question that came into my mind when I saw something, when you see something so unusual like that, that I've never heard of that before. Um, granted, I, I recruited spies and so I not, might not necessarily, but even in all the cases you and I cover, I've never heard of this, right? Who gave him that idea? I mean, so it always kind of, you know, like, where'd that come from? You, what unhealthy individual knew to do that? Mm -hmm. And so, again, when we're looking at behavior arcs of unhealthy, there's someone super unhealthy that even put that idea that you could do that into his life. I mean, that just was there not... someone or I mean, this this could, I think, have come from a depraved mind like Diddy himself, where it doesn't necessarily need to be an outside influence. Maybe, yeah. uh, I mean, I mean, who really knows? I mean, the level as to which he went. One does have to wonder, though, um, you know, he I'm sure surrounded himself with other somewhat like minded individuals where not every idea was coming from him. Yeah, somebody likely maybe did have to think about this. Um, what does this speak to? I mean, this is a man who has uh, really, I mean, somewhat speaking, unlimited power to a certain extent until he didn't. Um, he has all the riches he could possibly need for the rest of his life. He has fame. He has notoriety. He has popularity. He has his own line of alcohols and such, which he could easily serve. And he did serve. And there's also, of course, allegations that he was drugging that, too. Why feel the need to go all the way to the baby oil? I mean, this is just this is like something from someone who, like, doesn't have access to individuals or nobody likes them. Like, they feel the need to drug people. But I guess that's not always the case. Sometimes it's those that really have that power that just want to take it even further. As we said before, with him and individuals that don't channel their their influence for the powers of good, but they use them for the powers of themselves, this is just keeps escalating what? Control. It's just another level of control because once we hit one certain level, we reach a milestone. And this is so do your own thought experiment in your own lives. You know, you set a bar, you set a goal, you set something you're trying to achieve. And when you hit that achievement, you're like, oh, wow. And you cross that finish line. You're feeling so excited. And then, as they say, all glory is fleeting. Because after you've achieved a certain milestone or big moment in your life, the dopamine rush from that fades and we set new ones. I mean, this is how we survived as a species is that we're constantly seeking and trying to achieve greater things. If we didn't, we'd still be living in caves. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole reason you and I can talk via video is because – 
our genetics and biology say we constantly are looking to strive to achieve because that's how we're psychologically rewarded. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're taking that need for psychological rewarding and you channel it to control of people because that's given them the same dopamine rush. I mean, same thing, ser not saying he is, but, you know, serial killers do the same thing. You're going for a, a, a hit, a rush, an adrenaline rush, and that's why they keep going because once they get one, the only way to sustain it is to do more. And so once he had a, or any individual has a certain level of, of control over someone, it's a rush. That's yeah. why people in power seek more power. And so, like you said, alcohol gave him a certain ability to do that. Well, once you created your own line of alcohol and everyone's consuming your alcohol, where, where's the fun in that? I need to up my game. And so, again, I don't think these things are conscious things. It's just as they're sitting around bored because their brains get bored because they've already achieved the level of control they want is like, what else could we do? How else could we do? And then they come up with these things and ideas and it's like, oh, let's try this. And so it, reach, it keeps escalating that bar. It feels like it, it's, it's, le I mean, we're constantly reaching new levels of creepy and bizarre here. Mm -hmm. Um, but what we're talking about now, this is not just someone who'd had too much to drink and is a little bit more loose in bed or something like that. We're talking people that are drugged here really to a state of almost being like a corpse. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. if you've consumed the alcohol, the drugged alcohol, allegedly, and now you've rubbed the drug laced uh, baby oil over you, you're kind of laying there in a canatotic state. Um, this is no longer like willing participant or participant in any way, shape or form in in the sexual acts. This is getting really fucking weird where it's literally these people are uh, pretty much asleep uh, and unconscious while he is doing these things or his people are doing these sort of things. And he seems to really enjoy it. We're hearing account after account of people waking up and then him making some sort of comment of like, yeah, and I did that to you too when you were out. Um, this is just, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just getting so freaking bizarre and dark. Um, I mean, it, it sounds like a level of control where, I don't know that we've we've heard of this before in, in a big celebrity case where the, the people literally have to be canatonic and, and pretty much out of it for him to seemingly enjoy his time with them. Well, because... Well, as you're as you're describing it, it's because it's not about the sex. No, it's about the control. And yeah. so, and so, use that as our as your own optic and lens as we keep being, seeing things play out with him and the charges that are coming against him. We're going to see in every single instance as these things. Remember, every time something looks really, really complicated, it's it's really not. Yeah, it keeps. There's always a base motivation for a behavior. And the base motivation for his behavior, as assumed and looks and like and through charges, is control. It wasn't about sex. He had plenty of that. Everyone around him had plenty of that. It was about the control of the people he was doing it to. He wasn't reveling in anything and, and highlighting after, you know, the way you described it. It wasn't saying, hey, we had a great sexual encounter. You know, how awesome were we together in bed? No, it was like, hey, look what I did to you. Yeah. That's control. That's it's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up. And when you have that level of resources at his disposal and you have a level of of implied fear and retribution to people around you and you have the financial resources to do whatever you want for those levels of control, it's it, it's going to keep pushing the boundaries until it it can't be, until it's stopped, until this is what's happened right now. Can you imagine if charges weren't brought against him, how far and how far reaching it would be and the level of depravity that would have happened because it would have kept going until yeah. he either killed himself or killed others uh, and killed them all off. I mean, it literally, that's a, there's no <laughs> there's no meeting that level. In other words, there's once no you bound. reach that one level, you say, oh, I'm, I'm satisfied now. Mm -hmm. There was no level of satisfaction. No, no, there really wasn't. Welcome to the podcast. If you'd like to listen to an ad-free version of this episode and all of our episodes, then search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. That's our premium channel where all of our ad-free and advanced episodes live all in one place. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Search it on Apple Podcasts and press subscribe. Even try it for three days free. Let's be honest. 
Nothing kills the thrill of a good murder mystery like a commercial for laundry detergent. It's like someone slapping a closed sign on your favorite dive bar. But you're not here for that, are you? You're here for the good stuff. So ditch the ads and upgrade to True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. With True Crime Today Premium Plus, you get your crime straight. No chaser. Commercial free with extended interviews and early access. It's like getting the bartender's special when the bar's already closed. Search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and drink it all in.